Christians can't relate to people doing the Lord's work because they don't understand it. Looking at us like we crazy as shit. If they, if they took time out and used YouTube wisely and look for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, then they wouldn't be out here looking at us like we crazy as fuck. They just watching. Let's, they understand. They just watching Minecraft videos and uh booty shaking videos. Booty shaking videos and knockouts, hood fights and oh yeah and um. Uh, People going against the, uh, the, 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 the prophets. Oh, yeah. And you see how GMS got so many damn videos, you can't even get, you can't escape it. You can't escape it. It's, it's, like, it's look, virtually impossible. Just like you can't get on YouTube without finding out about the Illuminati. You know what I'm saying? There's always like an Illuminati video somewhere. Mm -hmm. And once you start watching Illuminati videos, you see them GMS videos start popping up in the related videos. That's why you gotta flood the internet with videos. Yeah, we've been doing that since day one, right? Yeah, exactly how we're, in, exactly what we've been instructed to do. We've been doing this since day one. Yeah, not the brag or boost, but our channel exactly, right now got exactly. They got a, we got one channel up with a hundred videos, and then we got that's our old channel, but our new our newer channel got over three hundred videos. This is for real? Yeah, man, those are like hour long videos too, fifty Ooh, minutes long. That's working, right? Plus, that's not to mention the thousands of other videos that done got deleted. Mm, yeah, that's just from yeah, us. Yeah, but you yeah. got brothers all around the world uploading thousands and thousands mm -hmm. and thousands of videos. Yeah, yeah. That's the spirit. Ain't nobody else doing that, man. Nobody else. You got to get, bring that, what you got, Luke 9? We're going to read Luke, all of Luke 9. Um, hold on, hold on. Right, what you hold got? On. Let me just read this real quick, man. Um, this is just pretty much, um, well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go oh, ahead. we're gonna bring it up. Go you got some. It was just, uh, you know, how brothers out here doing the work. That means they're they're studying. They're they're constantly reading the Bible, doing research, doing word research, doing language research. I was just gonna read Revelation that's, that's one and three. That's what you call having an unction from the Holy One. Mm -hmm. Right, right. This is uh, Revelation one and three. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. Yeah, hear the words of this prophecy. The prophecy is America's gonna be destroyed. We speak about a prophecy to market a beast. They're going to start putting microchips in people's brains. Mm. It came out, I seen uh, Dabu7 put up a video. Well, he wasn't the only one. But uh, they now put microchips in people's brains mixed with contact lenses that gives you ter oh, yeah. that Terminator vision. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you can have, ter you can look around the room, start scanning shit. Yeah. That shit tight though. <laughs> it's, it's gonna make it. That's how they gonna push the market of beast. Yep. Sure. It, make it sweet. It's gonna be so sweet. Like yep. I got to get got that. Got to have it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like everybody gotta update the new PlayStation, new Xbox. Oh yeah, the Xbox. Everybody gotta have the newest, uh, the newest iPhone. Yep. They gonna have to have that new brain chip. <laughs> they want. They gonna wanna have that Terminator vision. That's right. That's your too sweet too, man. Good. You know, two thirds get to go out with a bang. Then you know. They get to go out in style. <laughs> Shit. And keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Yeah, the time's at hand. <laughs> the time's at hand too. That's why last week we made a video. I don't know if it's on the internet yet. Oh, I can't thank you That's enough for these gloves, man, because I can turn pages a little better on them and everything, man. But you see that time is at hand, because last week the NATO and Russia so-called made a peace agreement in a, in a treaty, but Russia said, fuck your treaty. That treaty was just a, uh, it, what was he called? They just played your ass, they played NATO. They didn't have oh, no man. intention of keeping oh, that treaty. Hell no, it was man. just a joke. Did you see that? Uh, they playing jokes with NATO and Obama. Hell yeah, after the treaty, Russia captured- uh, The next day. The very next, they captured a tank battalion of NATO, uh, and they surrendered, got all the tanks, and they captured another, a uh, group of motherfuckers that like a uh, uh, 150 motherfuckers, man. And, and Putin's telling you, it's like, do something. Yeah, I yep. dare you to do something. Yep. If yep. you do anything, we shoot nukes. <laughs> he dare, he, that's why as soon as that treaty happened, they sent more more ships down to Cuba. Yeah. They had a battleships going through the English Channel by England. You hear McCain? Oh, no, I didn't hear McCain. McCain fired up, man. Oh, McCain's ready to fight him. <laughs> McCain fired up, man. So McCain, he's, a, he's out of his mind. Hey, I like McCain now, I, though. I like you, guys. He's, he's a great a, American. He's a great American. 
I met John McCain before. Hey, for and, and when you met John McCain, was he or was he not a great American? He was going over, he was like shaking hands, he's like, you're a great American. <laughs> He was too, boy. John McCain. John McCain means that shit, bro. Damn right he means it. Damn right. He ain't fucking around. I got man. pictures of him eating sausages. Oh, man. Swine, <laughs> swine, swine, swine eating McCain. He was eating a Bahama McCain, mama. McCain, Cain. Yeah, McCain means son of Cain. Cain, yep. That's uh, right. seen out bastard. Right, right. Oh, he, now and then. Yeah, he's great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, but, but he, he's a snitch, too. Mm -hmm. He was a prisoner of war down in Vietnam, and he was giving up all the secrets. All of them. And they rewarded him, Like too. a little bitch. That's right. That's right. That's right. The code of silence is bullshit. Yeah. Not, but there's some real OG motherfuckers that, that won't say nothing. Man, McCain ain't one of them. <laughs> yeah! Wow. I'll go ahead. We're going to bring out that loop. We're going to bring out the What's oh, that loop what? Loop 9. This is inspired, man. I mean, this is, this is pretty much what we out here to do. Just start at the top. Loop one of my favorite books, too. Luke 9, verse 1. Then he called the 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and, and to curse diseases. Over all, we got power over devils. We got power over spirits. So even a demon come out here, we're just gonna curse him out in the name of the Lord. That's right. And the power. demon's gonna obey. That's right. We got power over the demons. Keep going. And he and he sent them to preach the. You good? He sent them to preach the the, God, the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. That's what we we out here preaching the kingdom of heaven. That's what we doing. That's the only reason we out here. Right. Keep going. And he said unto them, Take nothing for your journey, neither staffs nor strip. Neither bread, neither money, neither have two coats of peace. And what's so, whatever house you enter into, there abide and this depart. You whosoever will not receive you when you go out of, this, of that city, shake off the rain dust from the feet of the testimony. Right, that's right. Right, yes. Yeah, so you teaching somebody and they keep bucking up against the truth, move on to the next person. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't, we don't get too pressed. Like, I'd be on the internet battling people. If, if they don't get it after just a few messages going back and forth, fuck them. Let them talk to themselves. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of times we'll keep going just to keep vexing. The oh yeah, sometimes, but you know, you know what I mean? but, but you know when somebody ain't ain't no good. You, yeah, damn right. Some, some people's just a waste of time. What's the word? A uh, heretic. A heretic. Yeah. yeah. After what did it say? So after two to three. Where's that at? Remember? That's in Titus that's three. Titus. Yeah, because a her Yeah, if somebody keeps bucking up against the truth. They become a heretic. We got, we got America's a nation full of heretics. That's right. There's no hope for these bastards. Hi, oh, I, oh, yeah, I got it marked. You want me to read it real yeah, quick? Yeah, go ahead. This is uh, Titus 3 and 10. I'm going to start at 4 9. But avoid foolish questions and genealogy and contentions and strivings about the law. Oh, that's a key right there. Avoid genealogies. That's because it says avoid genealogies because of Israel scattered among all nations. So we can't just be judging people on appearance, be like, where's your, where's your father from? Or where's your father's father from? We don't know. We don't know. Everything's That's just like when rats come up here and they ask us, oh, are you from Israel? Yeah, they like, yeah, yeah, you from Israel? You say you're Israelites. Was you born in Israel? Right. That says, you can't no way prove through a genealogy that they're Israelites. It's all through the spirit. All through the spirit, bro. Uh, for they are unprofitable in vain. A man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition, reject, knowing that he that is such is subverted and sinneth, being condemned of himself. Yeah, so a heretic is condemned. Condemn means condemnation. To be condemned means con means with, condemn means damn. It means your ass is damned. Damn. God damn. Yeah. God damn. Yeah, you got that. God has damned you. Damn, that's right. Ain't his name either. Hell yeah. <laughs> God. Well, that God's a title. <laughs> and the most high God will damn your ass. Do what? Everybody said. They said we gotta condemn people. The people say, why are you always condemning people? Well, why, why is the book of Titus in the Bible? <laughs> if we you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right, right. If you're supposed to condemn people. You know what I'm saying? Even that, even John was that John. I'll get it real quick. 
I got, you just, I got a precept with that I just read, man. Mm -hmm. um, this is uh, this is Matthew 13 and 13, 16. But blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. I mean, uh, of course, uh, it's only the elect that's going to hear this message and accept it and not scoff and come up against it. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see. The, like, you know, the prophets from back in the day when they was here, when the Lord was walking, they, they're stubborn asses. That's all they was worried about. Is, are you going to bring the, the kingdom of heaven back right now? You know? Uh, just you like know? they told him to get off the cross. No, no yeah, yeah, it's right, like right. like you the son of God, bring, how come you can't get off the cross? Yeah, mocking. Uh, and have not seen them, well, let me restart at 17 again. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom, and understandeth it not, then cometh, then cometh the wicked one. Yeah, the wicked, that's the devil. And catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is which received seed by the wayside. That's it, man. And these gloves ain't worth a fuck. I got a precept. John 3. Do the work and stop complaining. <laughs> I was saying, I got these newer gloves. I was like, oh, these is a good oh, glove. Y'all use on fire to use uh, them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these gloves, these gloves ain't shit. Right, right. Uh, John 3. And we're going to get back to that Luke after this. Luke 9. This is another precept to go to the, that condemnation. Uh, look, uh, John, everybody read John 3 16, but they don't never read John 3 18. Yeah, they don't keep going. <laughs> John 3 and 18 He that believeth on him Is not condemned But he that believeth not Is condemned already Ooh. Because he has not believed In the name That's right. Of the only begotten Son of God Yahweh Let me keep going And this is the condemnation And this is the condemnation That light is coming to the world and men love darkness uh -huh. rather than light Wicked. because their deeds were evil. Uh -huh. For everyone that hateth the light neither cometh to the light lest his deeds should be reproved. The light is his truth, his Bible. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be made manifest that they are wrought in the Most High. Mm. Already condemned. Yeah. But actually, you was condemned from the foundation of the earth. <laughs> Just like the elect was chosen from the foundation of yeah, the earth. That's right. Two thirds was condemned from the foundation. We'll get back to that loop. And they departed and went through this town preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. Now, here heard that, that treachery heard of all that was done by him. And he was perplexed because that was said to of him of some that John was risen from the dead. They so they thought the Lord was John the Baptist. He gone. And of some that Elias. Elias. Yeah, well, well, it's a uh, Isaiah. Isaiah have appeared. Or, 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 or how's it spelled? E S. E O S. Oh, that's Elijah. Elijah. Yeah, because John the Baptist is Elijah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reincarnated, reincarnation. Yeah. But they, it ain't real, remember? That's a, that's only Hindus. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> I'll keep going. And the son that, that Elijah have here and of others, the one of the old prophets was risen again. They said one of the old prophets was risen again. So this actually proves reincarnation has always been a belief of the Israelites because the Israelites thought the one you call Jesus was a, a, a risen prophet from the past. So if, that proves that Israel always believed in reincarnation. Always. Uh, reincarnation is not a Hindu belief. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not a Buddhist belief. The God, goddamn Buddha, uh, Siddhartha, was an Israelite. Mm -hmm. Who got scattered down there in fucking, where is he from? India? Wherever the fuck he's from. With that clown, polite, no light, that clown kid say. That forehead. He said, this, that, that's that spooky shit. Spooky shit? Yeah. He said he's abducted by a goddamn alien. Right, right, and that's that spooky shit. That kind of backwards ass shit is that. That's what Polite. Polite ain't shit. Alien from the planet Crips. He looked like a goddamn alien. Him and his women. He looked like E.T. He looked he look just like his women. Yeah, he, he got that woman spirit on him. 
polite to nobody. An ugly bitch. An hey, ugly bitch. And this fool, he pookie. Pookie on um New Jack City. Just an emotional bitch. An emotional bitch, right. That's all he is. I was watching that Showtime and the Apollo thing that uh, Sam Netter had. They called it a debate. It was really the Showtime and the Apollo. I got diarrhea and headache, man. But uh, he had proof that King James wasn't right because he wrote a book about demonology. Mm -hmm. When that whole book King James was telling you, then you they got devil worshippers and witches out here. That, he didn't improve nothing by bringing that out. No, he proved that he was a dumbass. That's right. That dude's retarded. I mean, he's an actual. Then he just plays on emotions. You know, you got a bunch of women in the audience. Because it's easy to play on a woman's emotions. Mm -hmm. Plus, you got effeminate men. And they, they just like women. They like it under women. Yeah, yeah. And you know, women naturally hate the truth anyway. Right. So most of these men, they like, they, they are women. Bitches. They're bitches. They even say that some of them motherfuckers like, say a penis just like is, is a clit. Do you hear him say that? What's that? They say that the penis is a, just an extended clit. It's an, a longer yeah. version of a woman's yeah. clit. Yeah. I yeah. heard them, them yeah. Egypt yeah. motherfuckers. That's old, though. That's old, though. They believe that. They actually believe that. They say yeah. a man yeah. is just is a woman. I hear women say that shit. Well, I used to hear women say it all the time. Yeah, they, they, they call a penis a man clip. Mm -hmm. yep. That's a faggot yep. shit. That's yep. shit I hear homosexuals mm -hmm. say. Yeah, because they got actual bunch of porn on that shit. Bitches with uh, big clips and niggas sucking on them and women oh, sucking man. on them and shit. Big ass clips that damn near look like a damn dick. <laughs> That's some bitches that was born and raised on steroids that got um that got uh, like uh, uh, asthma. You know, asthma, they treat it with uh, that in inhaler. Yeah. That inhaler is uh, that's a steroid. And some of them steroids cause people shit to either grow small or yeah, grow too goddamn big. Mutations and shit. Yep. yep. That's yep. crazy. Let's get back to that loop. You know, there's a lot of them women that got them big clips. They, they, they thicker, curvier women. That's some freak shit, yeah, man. That's some, yeah, some weird shit, man. Like some, some hermaphrodite shit. shit or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. They said, Hillary, the like. they said Hillary Clinton was a hermaphrodite. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't, this America, man, don't doubt nothing you hear, man. Nah, but, man. Especially about this crazy place. Like Michelle Obama, I personally believe there's two of them, though. Yeah, she got doubles. Uh -huh. I believe, they all got, we talked about it a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, they do got doubles. Obama got a double. All the Caesars had doubles. Hitler had doubles. Everybody got a, all, all the uh, powerful leaders, they all have doubles. Uh -huh. Hey, that's to stop people from assassinating them. When I'm the man that really brought Barack Obama to the wall. <laughs> Barack, Barack Obama is a homosexual. Everybody knows about Reggie Love. Your boy Pastor Manning always talk about Reggie Love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after him and Obama broke up, he passed the door against him. <laughs> yeah, Obama's a freak, man. Not being cracky a freak. Now go ahead. Damn. Not basketball playing motherfucker. <laughs> you see that video, man? Yeah, that's terrible. Man, he, man. Man. that ain't a ham right then. He's proud to be a ham Because they do that. They show the president playing basketball. Like, see, he's black just like you. Shit. Oh, just Bill Clinton played the sack, so is he black too? Oh, yeah. That, man, that shit was terrible. Bill Clinton. That's why they do. They try to say Bill Clinton was the first black president. Right, right. These motherfuckers is crazy. They call Hillary Hill Dog. Make him sound like that bitch is black. Hill Dog. What the fuck? They, when they hate fucking black people. I can't stand them. Hey, eugenicists. Oh, wait a minute. I have to go in there with them. I like I'm agree with them. Now I hate them too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're useless eaters. Yeah. But these white people too. All these white trash motherfuckers. White all these trash. fat, all these Walmart bitches. You go to Walmart, you see all these fat white bitches and fat black bitches. That's that's a useless eater. That's you know a video what I'm saying? for you at. Just take a camera and walk to Walmart and you get a God made. damn, you make a documentary, that should be mm -hmm. better than the, uh, the the National Geographic show. Yep, yep. You know, like watch them in their natural environment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Fucking animals. And they are literally the fucking animals. animals. And now they got that TV show about the 300 pound Oh, you see that? No, shit? 400 pound bitch. Is it 400? Is it 400? I don't know, man. Uh, they got a show I was watching it last night. It's called My 600 Pound Life. That's it. That's and, and, and they make it a cool to be it. fat. And the, yeah. yeah. No, they say less than five people that re go through this surgery recover. Like, why Damn. even do a fucking show about That's it? A, right, 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 right. That's useless. 
I, I posted a video on Facebook yesterday. A dude's rolling his mom into the back of a van wow. to take her to the surgery. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, man, when I was at Grant, man, working the trauma for an uh, uh, old ex model came in. This dude, he was an actual ex model. He was like, he was like close to a thousand pounds. God man. damn. He was close to a thousand pounds, How man. The fuck you and I was the only one nice to him, man. He was a Jake, too, a cool motherfucker, man. Everybody was rude to him. And, only in America. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Cool motherfucker. Oh, he was a cool fat motherfucker. Cool, cool. I was sitting chatting with him, oh, man. Yeah. He just told me all kind of shit, man. Cool motherfucker. That's a, this country does that to people, though. But most of these people are worthless. They are worthless. Mm -hmm. and they did. They were literally. That's why Esau wants to kill everybody, because Esau sees that you're worthless. He's but responsible he, he, for it. Right. Well, he's responsible for it. Right. It's his agenda. He created the whole, he created the atmosphere. He, he created the satanic atmosphere. That's right. Because it's right. all based upon Satanism. America is a satanic society. Everything's about materialism. Mm -hmm. It's about pleasuring yourself with food and drugs and money. It's all about money and, and pleasure, materialistic pleasure. Right, it's a satanic thing. To, um, cannibalism is a satanic thing. And, they, and, 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 and behind closed doors, they add human meat to the Did beef, you? the pork, the... You know. Did you see that uh, that uh, that video about these little uh, children in uh, in England? They came out and they said that the papa made them sacrifice babies. They, they was going to school and the headmaster of the school was was raping them in the asshole. Woo! And they was making the children drink the baby's blood. Oh my and goodness. And the children had to help cut the baby's heads off. Oh man, they they growing up fucked up. That's just coming out over there in England. Yeah, to, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the UK. Yeah, well, yep. over there in the UK. It's all coming out. It's all like, coming yeah, I'm out. I've been reading about that shit, man. Cause yeah, all, all the all the, the politicians, the royal family, they all in this Satanism, and they be chopping off babies' heads and sacrificing them, drinking the blood. They, and then it, the, the little children said they even had to eat the flesh. Woo! The little children said this. Well, you got a precept. You can stick to that, Luke. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bring it back out while he's finding that precept. Only in this world. Oh, you got something you want to bring out real quick? Yeah, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Said, John, how about the headed? Who is this? So, oh, yeah, so going back to Luke 9, and Herod said, I already killed John and chopped his head off. He's like, Who are you? Keep going. I heard such things, and he desired, desired to see him. Yeah, well, I thought I had ice in my beard. <laughs> Luke 9 10. And the apostles, when they had returned, told him all that they had done. And he took them and went aside privately into a desert place along to the city he called Bathsheba. And the yeah. people, when they knew it, followed him. And he received them and spake unto them of the kingdom of God and healed them in that had need of healing. And when the day became to wear away, then came the twelve and said unto him, Send the multitude away. That they may go into the towns and country round about and lunch and get virtues, for we are here in a desert place. But he said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they, and he, they said, We have no we have no more but five loaves and two fishes. They said we should go and buy meat for all these people. Keep going. And they and they were about five thousand men, and he said to his disciples, Make them sit down by fifty in a company. And they did so, and made them all sit down. Then he took the five loaves and the two fishes, and looked up to heaven. He blessed them, and break them, and gave them, and gave them to sit before the multitude, and they did eat. They were all food, and there was given up a, a fragment, and it remained into them twelve baskets. Say a lot of people, we all won't believe that. Like, see, that's some bullshit. You know, that's impossible. To the Most High, I mean, Most High is miraculous. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai, the son of the Most High, he had power. He could just make, he just prayed to the Most High, just make food materialize. That's right. That's you got right. a precept? Use that spiritual power. No, go ahead. I'll keep going with Use that. Use that spiritual power. There's a lot of people like to see, oh, that's why the Bible's bullshit. You can't do that. That's why he had a lot of wicked motherfuckers following him around when he was out there teaching, man. Right? Because they was. You know, they was witnessing those miracles and wanted to eat. Shit like that could happen. Yeah. You ever be driving in your car, you think you you got no gas, but that motherfucker keeps going forever and ever. Going <laughs> 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 <Boom>, fume. <laughs> Keep going. Luke 9 and 
12, 9, 18. And it came to pass as he was alone praying, his disciples were with him, and he asked them, saying, Who say the people that I am? They answered, the answer is said, John the Baptist. But some say Elijah, and others say the one of the old prophets is risen again. There it goes again, that proof reincarnation. Keep going. But he was not prophets. He's the son of the most high. Said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Peter answered and said, The Christ of God. And he straightly Right, the Christ meaning the Messiah. Okay? Because Christ is Greek. It means the, the, the anointed one, which in Hebrew is Mashiach, or where you get the word Messiah. Keep going. And he straightly charged them and commanded them to tell no man that thing, saying, The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be slain. Oh, hold up. So the Lord, the Son of the, son of the Most High, Yahweh Shai, he was rejected by the chief priests mm. for all the heads of Israel. So that's why you got people to talk shit about like GMS. Because they the true the apostles, the disciples. Like, we're the real apostles too. You know what I'm saying? Sure. That's why everybody rejects us. They rejected the Son of the Most High. All the, all the other groups, all the Israelite groups, they talk shit about us. Like you do something that or said y'all not you're real Israelites. Mm -hmm. How does he, I mean, someone they don't know shit about each other. Here he is judging us. Wow. Yeah, the Lord was rejected of everybody, man. Yeah, man he, the Lord they himself. They, the Lord himself, they despised him. They hated him. Even after they seen miracles. Even that, that, that made him hate him even more. Jealous, envy. Yeah, that could, yeah right. Mm -hmm. I got this Matthews 19 and 28. And Yehoshua said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me, in the regeneration when the Son of Man... In the regeneration, that means the reincarnation. Mm -hmm. Read that again. Um, verily I say unto you that ye which have, fo have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Now he's talking to the twelve disciples. And he's saying there because that proves reincarnation because the twelve disciples never sat on thrones judging, judging the Israel because Israel was under Roman rule at that time. So this is talking about a future event that has not yet happened. And it still has not yet happened. That's right. But it's coming it's soon. Possible. It's about to happen. We you know what I'm time, saying? We in that time, like the scripture I was reading, that the prophets wanted to see the things that we see. Well, we the, yeah, we the prophets and apostles in reincarnation. That's right. You know what I'm saying? A Lord willing, we part of the elected in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's that old devil worship. Yeah, right, right. And some voodoo. Now, let's get back to that Luke. That Luke got, that Luke got some fire, man. Keep going. Or wherever you was at. Luke, Luke 19 and uh, 22. Saying, the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders, the chief priests, and scribes, and be slain, and be res. We rise the uh, third day. Matter of fact, let me get a let me get a, I gotta get a precept for that. He said he get a baby. The Lord was rejected. Let me get a precept for that real quick. If I can turn this page. Oh yeah, I got a precept in my head right now. Yeah. The Lord was That's rejected. It. Let me get this. John 7 and 7. The world cannot hate you. So y'all come up hating it and scoffers. You don't hate us. He said, but the world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. So that's why the reason people hate the Lord is because they're fucking evil. Because they ain't fucking right. You know what I'm saying? That's why everybody got a problem with the Bible. You know what I'm saying? They, they have no problem with uh, Hinduism. They'll go do some yoga. They'll be like, uh, I'm gonna go meditate like Buddha. They have no problem with it. You name a religion, they have no problem with it. They even tolerate Muslims. Yeah, but Muslims. don't believe in this book. Yeah. If you believe in this book, then they got a problem with you. Yeah, like, right. the Bible's bullshit. Yeah, right. That shit ain't real. Yeah. That's some bullshit. Don't preach that bullshit to me. Yeah. But yeah. if I came up talking to you about, I'm gonna go meditate, you gonna go do some yoga, baby? Oh. Or whatever. Yeah, you deep. Yeah, you deep. You're spiritual. Yeah, right. You're spiritual. Right. You know what I'm saying? Wicked, so wicked, fuck man. you, motherfuckers, man. Right, right. You got no love for it. You condemned. Let's get back to you. Go ahead, bring that Luke out. 
That's why I hate these people, man. Reading that book of fairy tales. Like David said, I hate I hate you with a perfect, perfect hatred. hatred. A perfect hatred. When that time come, man, when we get that power, man, we ain't gonna be holding back. Nah, we ain't gonna be holding back. No, we ain't gonna be out here reading scriptures. Right now, we showing love by doing this work. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, to wake some of you fools out your sleep. But they rejecting love. that love. They rejecting that love. And we, I mean, we pray some of y'all wake up out your sleep. Because we just ain't evil motherfuckers wanting to kill everybody. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but when I'm the Lord gives there. us that power. Hey, mentally, I'm getting there. Oh, uh, yeah. That's why when the Lord gives us that power, we're going to do what he makes us do. That's right. And it ain't us doing it. It's the most high doing it. We're going to have his anger. It ain't going to be our anger. Exactly. Go ahead, Brent. Because uh, it tells you that in Revelations, we're going we gonna to rule all nations with a rod of iron. We're going to break heathens to pieces. Tear them up. With babies, too. Oh, yeah, it tell you that, Psalms 137. Mm -hmm. Edomite baby's gonna get smashed to pieces. The gutter's gonna be running with bread. <laughs> oh, it said we're gonna, uh, we're gonna wash our feet in the blood of the wicked. Damn that's right. in the Psalms. Yeah, I'm right. We're gonna, so, that's in the Psalms. We're that's gonna right. wash our feet in the blood of the wicked. Blood gonna literally be running. That's a good song to sing, too. People want to talk about, they gonna sing some, gonna bust a ramp. Why don't you sing that song? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Yeah. They gonna sing some uh, some some gospel music in church. They never sang that song. Luke nine and twenty two. A little nasty looking little here. And he said to them all, "A <laughs> <laughs> little creature, a little a little heathen, a little creature." I'm sorry to bring that out. Nine twenty three. And he said to them all, "He looking at you like you filthy." <laughs> You know, he looked like his head just came out of a uh, horse's ass. Right. We didn't, we, 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 you know, we mentioned him many a times how the heathens don't like taking baths. Yeah, they don't bathe. You know, man. don't want to bathe. They're women too. They ain't just the men. That's the women too. No crusty assholes. You're right. Asshole got scabs on it and shit. <laughs> Sores and shit. That's crazy, man. <laughs> what was one of them Jew bitches? Them old, them right. old dirty Jew bitches. That's a that's a heathen for you. Right? Flying around a pussy. And you shit. see them Muslim bitches be stinking too. You be up in a, a Kroger, the grocery store. Whew. When the Muslim bitches come wearing that uh, Muslim shit. Right, right. You can smell that bitch uh, 10 hours over. You know what I'm saying? Especially where Girl used to live at, man. He, he the lived Somalians? Oh, my goodness. Man, you can smell Smiley a half mile away. That whole apartment complex stink. <laughs> for real. I lived around some Hindus before. They stink. Yep, yep. I didn't see one of fine ass Hindu. She was a Jake though. I was get back to that. Yeah, I had a Pakistani bitch for, uh, for like three years, man. That's some weirdos. They was Jake's too. Oh uh, yeah, some of them do be because our people scattered over there. I shit, I knew they was something was different about them motherfuckers back then. Cause uh, yeah, you find cool people everywhere. Yeah. That's an Israelite. Yep. Yeah. Cause Israel scattered everywhere. So all heathens ain't really heathens. Right. <laughs> but they, but if you still got a, if they don't believe in this truth, you still look at them like a heathen. If, if one of our people, one of one of our people don't believe in this truth, they, they're a goddamn heathen. <laughs> That's how you treat them. <laughs> I'll go out and read that. Woo! God damn! come after me let him deny himself oh if any man will come after me let him deny himself like we doing right now keep going and take up his cross daily take up your cross daily because this this truth is a struggle it's a you got a sacrifice it's all about sacrifice it's all about walking that straight gate present your body as a living sacrifice as a yeah as a sweet savor to the most high because this right here is a sweet savor you know what I'm saying? It's a sacrifice. We sacrifice. Just like the Lord said, he sacrificed himself for his brothers so that they could live and have life. You know what I'm saying? So he's the example. We're supposed to follow his example. We're supposed to say, fuck this world. The hell with this goddamn world. We're going to curse this wicked ass world out. And we're going to preach the kingdom of the most high. Amen. Yeah, amen. <laughs> yeah, because what else could you say? Fuck this world, man. We're not part of this world. I, this world is evil, it's filthy, it, it's uh -huh. evil. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? The laws is fucked up. Every Absolutely no brotherhood, man. 
Absolutely no brotherhood, no love for brothers. It's every man for himself. Mm -hmm. Neighbor against neighbor. Neighbor yeah. against neighbor. This is sad. This is only a captivity that you it's, it's a filthy palace shit. Mm -hmm. This is hell. We live in hell. Yeah. That's right. Esau's heaven, Israel's hell. I pray every day that the Most High destroys this shit, man. I think he's hearing his prayers, man, because something's happening in this world. <laughs> For real. This whole world is in chaos now, man. Wait till it comes to America. Wait till it comes here, man. That's good, because the Lord said he didn't come to bring peace, but a sword. You goddamn sleep sheep. Goddamn sleep goats. Yeah, they're goats. They're cattle. Sleep goats. Yeah, they're some goats. Pigs. Some sleep pigs. Yeah, swine. Swine, right. Swine. Dead zombies. <laughs> Walking dead. Yep. Dead, literally dead. Shit. Shit, I'd rather hang out with zombies than these people. Mm. These motherfuckers, are, yeah, they really walk around like. Foul ass motherfucker. Go ahead, get, uh, let's read more of that. You good? You need You good on that camera for now? You want to take turns? You, you want to trade off for a minute, Paul? Oh, I'm good. Are you good? Oh, you good? All right. Mm. Hey, read, read that verse again. Luke, Luke 9 and 24. And he said to them all, and any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and yeah. follow me. Yeah, so fuck your life, man. You're supposed to put this truth before your own life, before your children, before your mother, before your father. No, we're not saying you're not supposed to love them, but this comes first. Comes first. Keep going, and don't let nothing get in your way. Okay, if, if your wife has a problem with you teaching the Bible, looks like you don't have a wife no more. Fuck her, okay? If she wants to get in your way, fuck that bitch. Fuck that hoe. You know what I'm saying? There's plenty of hoes in the world. There's more hoes where that hoe came from. More hoes where that hoe come from. Shit. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> right. I'm, for, I'm just hey, saying how it is, is bro. That's how it is, because like the scripture says, you know, wife's going to be a harlot on the streets, you know? We ain't got, we got time to be playing games, man. Mm, mm, mm. It's a serious deal. Showdown time. The Lord said that the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. That's right. So we out here trying to find laborers. That's right. We, we know what I'm saying? That's what our whole job is to find people to do this work, man. The, the faster the more of our the elect wake up to the truth, the faster we get the fuck out of here. Yep, yep. And faster this kingdom come to an end. That's right. Uh, That's keep right. on. We know the severity of the situation while we out here in negative negative degrees. You know? No time to be taking no breaks, taking a day off, getting soft. And when we're, we're not outside teaching all the time, mm -mm. but we're teaching people in our daily lives on the fucking internet. You know what I'm saying? Well, we make a lot of money on the internet. Uh, keep going. We're making money. Money means waking people up. We're not talking about, oh, we taking donations. Say, we, we speak some parables. Because somebody might actually take that literally because they're so stupid. Like, oh, y'all just care about money. Uh, keep going. So yes, whoever shall save their life shall lose it. So if all you care is about yourself getting money, getting riches, you're gonna lose all those riches. You're gonna lose your money. You're gonna lose your beautiful wife. You're gonna lose your little raggedy ass children. You're gonna lose everything you got. The Lord ain't with your shit, man. You're gonna lose your house that you're paying thirty percent interest on, <laughs> or whatever. You know they always get them. Because all y'all think y'all got it made. Talking about, I got a new car. You don't got a new car. The bank got a new car. Yeah, right, right. The bank got a new house. You don't own none of that shit. Y'all, y'all live in a, all, in a motherfucking fantasy land. Your whole life is a facade. Keep going. Okay. What? Okay. Whoever will. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. Right. So that's why you're supposed to sacrifice your life for the truth. Keep going. This is the only thing that matters, man, isn't it? This is what makes a real man, too. Doing this work is what real men do. 
Keep going. What is a man advantage if he gained the whole world and loses himself? Right. Or if he cast away. It's all, it's all it's all vanity. Keep going. For whosoever shall be ashamed of me, and in my words, of him shall the son of man be ashamed. Right, so right, you ashamed if you ashamed to come out and do this work and make a fool of yourself for the Lord, then the Lord gonna be he gonna push you away, man. You know what I'm saying? You're you gonna be weeping and gnashing your teeth. Keep going. You go, you're gonna be condemned, motherfucker. Keep going. Yeah, I curse too. I curse a lot. I use curse words, cuss words, all the time. I don't even care. Keep going. When he shall come in his glory, and his fathers, and in his fathers, and of the holy angels. And he come in his glory. That's when the Lord come out of the sky in the chariots. That's what they call a UFO. That's what they're talking about when the Lord come with his glory, with all his holy angels. They gonna come out of the sky and everybody's gonna see him. It ain't gonna be no Anunnaki ancient aliens. That's gonna be the Lord, the God of the Bible, the Son of the Most High, and the angels. Okay, it ain't gonna be no goddamn Nibiru. Some people say that UFOs are demons. Y'all need punch in your face, man. Yeah, they say Jesus, the Lord is an alien. Yeah, they try to say the Lord is an alien. No, you an alien. You know what I'm saying? The Lord gonna... When, yeah, when the Lord come out of the sky, tearing shit up, destroying fools, you tell the Lord that he's an alien. Mm -hmm. See what happens. You know what? That's funny, though, because they actually going to look at him that way. They, yeah, they be like, it's world to world. Because they're actually, the, they're the wicked, and then the Lord come to kill them. Yep, that's you know, true. You know? So it's going to be terrifying. He might as well be an alien to him. That's why in all the movies they make in Hollywood, they always show that, that the spaceships coming from outer space are always the enemy. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, that, that's the hot thing on TV right now. They sh It's like all week long, man. They keep playing that, um, them alien movies. Independence Day. I mean, all the other ones, man. I don't know the name of the other ones, though. Yeah, that, what's that one? Uh, they had the Battle, the Battle, Battle of LA, LA or yeah, something? Yeah, that one, too. There's another one, too. They keep playing them back to back all week long, man. They then they have V. Remember the old school V, old and they had the new school. one too. Yep, yep. Then the old one was way better. They try to yeah, so they try to say the Lord's a reptilian. Y'all need punch in your face, man. That's all disinformation. All that shit about reptilians and graves. That's that disinformation, man. Trying to get people to uh, fight against the Lord, to hate the Lord. Yeah, yeah. But that's on a subconscious level. Because y'all ain't never studied the Bible, so you don't know about the chariots spoken of in the Old Testament and the New Testament over and over and over again. I mean, it, this is pretty much a, a UFO manual, this Bible, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A UFO encyclopedia. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. What the fuck is that shit? Holocaust. Uh, that thing is huge. God damn. That's somebody, that's some entertainer or some shit, man. Yeah. Has to be. Yeah, that's probably some superstar. It has to be. Somebody big. They living good up in that shit. Yeah, because they don't, you don't ride around on shit like that. That's bigger, than, than, my, bigger yeah. than my house. Because that trailer is their equipment. That's somebody. Oh, yeah, that's you're that's right. That's, that's, got, that's a band or something. Mm -hmm. They probably going up to the new yeah, that's a serious band, room too. room they keep a band shit. That's probably a DJ. No, nah, you can keep uh, some shit. And them trailers, DJ you can stack them amps like up that. in that mother. That's a lot of that's room a in that trailer. That's a band. That's a drum kit. Fucking amps. That's somebody that's making serious money. Yeah, they making some money with that shit. That shit ain't, man. Them motherfucking buses, them uh, they, things ain't cheap, man. I watched a documentary on one of them motherfuckers. Actually, it's like, that's it's like actual stuff. Man, millions, More than millions. That. No, millions. Yeah. Some, like, of them are Some of them are millions. Some of them are a million dollars, man. But that one right there, that's, that's probably about 250000 But they have 000, living man. spaces in there, too, like mm -hmm. a bedrooms. Like I was watching coming around. Bunk beds. I saw inside of it, man. I saw all kind of expensive equipment and shit lit up. Yeah, that ain't that one no cheap shit, man. They going to the something's going on, man. But a big well, band, they oh, have shoot. trailers. They have trucks. This over shoot. Shit. Wait a minute. Um, could be somebody that's going to perform at the shot scenes arena. Oh yeah. Oh, you see? You know? We just driving down uh, Broad Street. They tore down Best Memorial. Oh man. It looked like it wow. got hit. Oh by, yeah, that's right. Yeah. It looked yeah. like it got yeah. hit by. It looked like Oklahoma City. Look like Putin did his work. That there. shit got fucked up. Look like Putin there. Oh uh, yeah, it looked like Putin was up in that motherfucker. <laughs> nah, if Putin can't pay the visit, it'd just be a desert. <laughs> You're right, right. Flat, <laughs> flat land. 
Yeah. It's always shit. These people are, man, they ain't worried about World War Three, man. They just ready for that next concert. Yeah, hell that, yeah. that next festival. To be entertained. Hey, yeah, it's all about entertainment. It's all about music. Because most people spend their days watching uh, fictional TV shows. And every show they watch is not real. It's all Ooh. it's all a made-up mm. story. They don't, they're, they're totally... So-called reality yeah, TV. Yeah, they're all disconnected from reality. Yeah, it's all scripted. It's all, everything is scripted. Mm -hmm. and they, they're watching some kind of a drama, CSI, but everything they're watching is some scripted, made up shit that never happened. Yep. And they live in a permanent fantasy land, totally disconnected from reality. What's the script that says simplicity? Uh, <laughs> def uh, let me get, all right. Why are you getting that? Let's get back to that Luke White getting that. Ah, shit. Feeling, feeling good. <laughs> But I tell you of the truth, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they, till they see the kingdom of God. All right, let's go get that precept. Uh, this is Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Yeah, simplicity. Because y'all look at us like we're stupid because we read the Bible. We'll read a dictionary. They look at you like, huh? Dictionary is. Motherfucking dictionary? Yeah, that's that good time shit when we go in dictionary. They right? look at you like you like you're stupid. Mm -hmm. You're stupid because you're reading a dictionary. Right. That right. makes you stupid. Yep. Yep. What the fuck? Yep. Yep. They no look lie. Real talk. Real talk. Real talk. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. You're stupid reading a dictionary. You read the news, you're stupid. Mm -hmm. You're retarded. Yep. If you, and if you don't know football, if you don't know how many yards a certain running back has, you're retarded. Mm, mm, mm. Amazing. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? I dare you not to know uh, who the starting quarterback for Ohio State is. Oh my goodness. You, you'll, you'll be uh, you'll be ousted. You'll, what's that word? You'll, you'll be uh, a <laughs> you're a heretic. <laughs> you're a heretic. <laughs> right, right, right. That's all these people. All right. kind of now these fools got is football stats. They the only kind of knowledge they got is who won the Grammys, who won the Oscars. That's the hot shit right now. Yeah, Man, fuck your Grammys or Oscars. There's a bunch of ran by a bunch of Jew devils. Don't give a fuck about that shit. It's right. all fairy tales. It's all fantasy land. Right. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? Oh, no, too. The word Oscar. The word Oscar itself goes back to the Oz, like the Wizard of Oz. Wow. Let's go back to the Ozir, which is the Norse gods, with like Odin and yeah. Thor and all that shit. Going up their vibration. Yeah, because yeah, Oscar, you look up the etymology of the word Oscar, it goes back to the Norse gods, some paganism, mm. which was really just another form of Baal worship, devil worship, idol worship. And the, and the Oscar itself is an idol. And scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. And fools hate knowledge. A fool hate the dictionary. A fool hates the Bible. A fool hates watching the news. The only news these people will watch is Sports Center and TMZ. And that's it. TMZ. <laughs> I hate some goddamn TMZ. The Daily TMZ. Show. <laughs> that's my shit. <laughs> you watch that Hell show. yeah, that's a good shit. <laughs> they be on point, man. Uh, yeah, they be exposing people. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Wait, but, but you know what I'm saying? That's that 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 when it's that uh, paparazzi shit. That I'm thinking of something else, man. TMZ, you know. TMZ. I'm thinking of something else, man. Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Bro. That's all these fools. Yeah, watches. I was thinking of something else though. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. Right, right, <laughs> that right. TMZ some wild shit, bro. Right. That, about all these people care about is celebrities. That's it. It's like celebrity worship. Yeah, yeah. That's all this is. Celebrity worship, idol worship, and worshiping of athletes, worshiping of uh, musicians. Everybody like Kanye West, that big faggot. He's quite kissing the man. Oh, yeah, they do a lot of that. They make sure the camera watches. That's why they catch it. They make sure the camera catches. They want the camera to see. It, you know, they show. They trying to show their loyalty. Kissing motherfuckers, throwing up their signs. Their, you know, their their gang, their gang signs and shit. Why well, I said Illuminati signs. I got I got witnesses. I said Kanye West was a faggot from day one. From day one. As soon as I seen, I was like, look at this faggot. Yeah, Usher. As soon as when that through the wire shit came out, I was like, who's this faggot rapping with with a lisp? <laughs> faggots. Bunch of fucking faggots. Fucking. <laughs> Let's get the rest of Luke 9. Luke, Luke, Luke. 
Yeah. Finger crossed. I got my shit in my nuts. I don't give a fuck. That's the fine. That's why you gotta wear some stretchy pants. Uh, listen, I wanna get the right. That's something my point I wanna get in here. Uh, keep going. Look, look, look at it. You'll be alright. Put them in your armpits, bro. Yeah, no, I'm good. Go ahead. It was 9 and 28. And it came to pass about eight days after these said to, he took Peter and John and James and went up into a mountain to pray. And as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was alert. And his remnant was white and was glittering. Keep going. And behold, there were talked with men who were Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and despite as his deceased was you good. which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. But Peter and they that were with him were heavy with, with sleep. And when they were awake, they saw his glory, and the two men that stood with him. And then Peter said to Yahushai, Master, it is good for us to be here. And let us make this three, three tabernacles, one for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Mm -hmm. Now knowing, not knowing what he saw, he said, why he why he thus back, there was a cloud and overshadowed them. See, it's, it's a so-called UFO. A cloud overshadowed them. Me and a, a, a chariot, starship, spaceship. A, ch a chariot of fire. <laughs> Keep going. And they feared as they entered into the cloud. And there came a voice of the of the cloud saying, "This is my beloved son. Hear him." That's right. And, and this and this proves that the one y'all call Jesus, was Yahweh Shai. He is not God. He is the Son of the Most High. Okay, because the Lord Yahweh Shai was on earth, and the Lord came over in a chariot and said, "This is my Son." Okay, and who, uh, he said, and read it, what does it say? It proves that two different entities. This is my son, hear him. Yeah, this is my son, hear him. Keep going. We're going to get to the rest of it. Let's we'll read it quick. When the voice was passed, y'all shout, found alone, and they kept him close and, and told no man in those days any of those things which they had seen. And it came to pass that on the next day, when they were came come down from the hill, much people met him. And behold, a man of the company cried out, saying, Master, I beseech thee, look upon my son, for he is mine only child. And lo, the spirit taken him. And he, and he certainly cried out. Yeah, he was possessed by a devil. The demon, keep going. And they tear him, and he, and he rose again, and bruised him partly, departing from him. And I besought, and I besought thy, thy uh, disciples to cast him out, and they could not. And Yahushai answered and said, O oh, fatherless and preserved generation. Oh, How perverse. Perverse. Oh, uh, yeah, per perverse generation. Perverse Perverse means the opposite of uh, perverted to be, because vert means truth, so perverted means you got no truth. Keep going. How long shall I be with you and suffer you? Bring thy son hither. He said, bring, bring him over. Keep on. As he went, and yet coming, the devil threw him down and tear him. And Yahushai rebuked the unclean spirit and healed the child and delivered him again to his father. All right, keep on. They were all amazed at the at the mighty power of God. But while they wondered every one at his things, which Yahushai did, he said it to Let, his disciples. Now listen to this right here. This is a good part right here. We talked about this earlier. Read this. Let these things sink down into your ears. Let, he said, let these things sink down into your ears. <laughs> let it sink in real good. That's right. Keep, <laughs> your mind. Yep. <laughs> into your mind. Right? Keep going. He that have ears, let them hear. Yeah. Right. Right. That's the elect. That's the right. only one that got ears. That's right. You ever hear some people, like, it goes in one ear out the other. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. Keep going. For the Son of Man shall be delivered into the hands of men, but they understood not the sin, and it was hid from them that they preserved the perceived it not, and they feared to ask him of that sin. Did you skip something? Next one, my greatness. No, I'm sure where you at. Where did you just read? Where did you at? Oh yeah, keep going, keep going, my fault. 
It's coming up. We'll get to it. Then there arose a, a reason among them, which of them should be greatest. Which of them? Are you good? Keep going. Yeah, they said they arose among them. It's like which one of y'all the disciples? They just think which one of them was gonna be the greatest, right? This is a, a good point you need to make. Keep going. Y'all shot perceiving the thought of their heart, took a child and sat them before him. And he said unto them, Whosoever shall receive this child in my name shall receive me. Whosoever shall receive me, receive him that sent me. Because we're, I mean, we're, we're liking unto children. Yeah. Keep going. He that is least among you all, the same shall be great. So the, whoever is least among you, the same will be great. You that's know what I'm saying? That's how the world look at us too. That's do the least. Yep. And so we don't look at our down on shit. You can't right, because you know you can't look down on your brother like you better than him. Uh-huh. Right, like, right, right. Like there's another saying that says the first shall be last. I ain't never looked at a motherfucker like that anyway. I ain't no. never had in my spirit to do that, man. But now I got in my spirit. I look at these two thirds like motherfuckers y'all beneath us, man. Yeah. And well, they are, they're beneath us. Well that's two thirds. That's something yeah. different. That's not our right, brother. Right, right, right. With, with your brother, someone that's in the truth. You, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to look at him as your equal, like not like you above him or right. you got mastery over him. It's like the other scripture said, there has to be some some uh, people, they always want to have that chief seat up in, you know, when they up in the temple, they always want to sit at the head of the table. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All that goes back to mm -hmm. King Arthur. You remember the King Arthur, the, uh, nice the, round the round, why do you have a round table? So nobody could sit at they're the head of the equal. table. It was all equal. That's right. That's right. All right, keep going. Keep going. But that, that's a par that's a parable just on the table. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And why, how many knights did he have? They, he had well, twelve knights. It represented the twelve disciples. Was it twelve? Right. Well, of course it was twelve. Because they and then they try to tell you King Arthur never I, existed. Honestly, never knew. Right. Right. They try to say King Arthur never existed. Right. That's because they don't want you to know that he believed in the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was an Israelite. They don't want you to know this information. Yeah, they make the movie like it's some type of some fairy tale type shit. I give you a fight. King Arthur was He was an Israelite, you know what I'm saying? That's for damn sure. There's no doubt of, that's all why that they, all that magnificent armor they were wearing. Right, man, he was, he was he's a mighty man, yeah. a mighty man of the Lord. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be I wouldn't doubt it if he was from the uh, the line of King David. You know? You know what I'm saying? They, they, they don't want you to know about Arthur. All right, keep going. They try to say it's a fairy tale. That's why they try to tell you that in the dark, the so-called during the dark ages, they said the world was in a dark age. They said y'all had no knowledge and technology. Yeah, yeah, right. That's but, what they say. But that's a lie. But look at all these gigantic churches and chapels and uh, castles. All gigantic castles that was Ooh. constructed. You want that's the dark ages with moats around it. They still that can't. Moat, they can't build. That's crazy, they ain't man. built shit like that since. Nothing resembles. And that shit was magnificent. Yeah, it's still up. It's still standing. It's still standing to this day. <laughs> yeah, right. Just like the pyramids, it's still standing. Perfect condition. Right. <laughs> shit. Shit, building stone. Yeah, that's right. That's why you got the nobles living there. And, and they was beautifully constructed buildings. Mm -hmm. Look, the buildings constructed today are just boring. They're all just squares. Mountains. These, that's, that's Mount just garbage. That's Mount Sear. Don't even last a hundred years. And they got number Mount Sear. They ain't nothing artistic about them. Mm -hmm. During the so-called dark ages. They had they had beautiful art, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Shit. The, 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 all the buildings were like works of art. That is right, some keep fascinating going shit. We're gonna read all this. Look, we almost done with it. That is some fascinating shit, though. That's some fat. Some fascinating. They have not built shit like that to this very day. Israel did it too. Yeah, that was Israel. Just like Israel built those pyramids. Only an Israelite can build shit like that. Just like the uh, the pyramids of the Mayans built. You know what I'm saying? Israelites. That's all Israelites that built that. That's the Israel trademark. Israel. Oh. I'll right, keep going. Because Israel got an imagination that you can't believe. John answered and said, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name. Oh, he said, we saw some, some people casting out devils in thy name. You know, teaching the gospel, doing the work. Keep going. We forbade him because he followed not with us. And y'all shot said uh -huh. unto him, forbid him not. Forbid him not. If so, we see somebody out here doing the work in the Lord's name and teaching it properly, just let him do his thing. Keep going. He that is not against us is for us. So he that is not against us mm -hmm. is for us, mm -hmm. okay? Prophets are knuckleheads, man. Right. Probably they, the pe people they saw was probably not perfect in teaching, probably used all kind of crazy language or it was something right. different about them. 
Yeah, you know, they weren't ready for it. They right. thought that it was the only ones. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. But mm -hmm. they teach them bullshit. That's another story. Yep. The Lord sent out what? Uh, 70. Like, what was it 70? 70 apostles. Okay, I thought it was 72 or. So you right. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> I was just battling with somebody. That's a. But really, 70, though, was uh, symbolic of the number seven. Completion. Yeah, completion, so more than that. Yep, yep. Because the, the revelations speak of 144,000. Yeah, what's that scripture says? He said he done reserved 7,000 men that have not bowed their knees to the to Baal. Oh, that's like, in the kings. Like that. When, like that. You're talking about when Elijah went with Obadiah up in the cave and was feeding them and shit. Right, right, right. Yep. Yep. Because Jezebel and uh, Ahab was killing all the prophets. Seven. Yeah, right, right, right. You know, I'm reading that today, man. Yes, yeah, I'm reading good. that today. Oh, I love that story. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. I'm reading I, that my favorite part of the story is when they throw Jezebel out the goddamn <laughs> window <laughs> and the dogs eat her and yeah, shit her that, out. And before, <laughs> right, before the horses, the horses stomped her. Yeah, the her. horses stomped her. <laughs> the dogs ate her and shit her out. <laughs> Let's read the rest of that. Look, now look, man. We made that video on that. We broke it down beautifully. Yeah, we was getting down. That, that man, that was a beautiful down. time right there. <laughs> that was one of my favorite videos. <laughs> Stop that bitch. <laughs> Stop that nigga. Jezebel represents your baby's mama. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Don't even have, don't, don't. Gotta don't, get don't, them hoes on camera. Don't got the sense enough to fuck up. Fuck up, fuck up. You gotta be cute. You, you gotta, gotta be out your goddamn mind. That's amazing. That's a dumbass woman for you. Ooh, he. Yeah, gotta be out here. Gotta be cute. Man, this shit won't get, focus. She gonna get goddamn hyperthermia. The lenses froze up or something. Wow. All right. Let's, let's re finish this up. Woo! It fast. When, the, when the time was come that he said that he should receive, receive up, he, he steadfastly he set his face to go to Jerusalem, Jerusalem and set Meshler. Damn. Take your time. Thanks. And they went and entered into a village of the Samaritans and make ready for him. And they did not receive him because his face was as though he had gone to Jerusalem. And when his disciples, James and John, saw this, they said, Lord, Oh, hold up, read, read that again. Uh, yeah, because somebody, they was up in Samaria, and the Samaritans yeah, had a yeah. problem with the Lord, right? So this is what the disciples said. What well, John and, uh, read it. When the disciples, James and John saw this. Yeah, James and John. Because the top three disciples was uh, Peter, James, and John. All right, keep going. Lord, now command fire to come, to come down from heaven. And consumed them even as Elijah, Elijah did. Uh, so, yeah, so the disciples are saying, well, how about we just destroy these motherfuckers, mm. Lord? Mm. And this is proof why you, you, we ain't supposed to be killing people. Right. Uh, keep going. They turned and rebuked them and said, So the know, Lord rebuked them for saying that. Keep going. You know not what manner of spirit you are of. So you don't know what manner of spirit, because it ain't time for that. Keep going. For the Son of Man is not to come to his life, but to save them. And they went to another village. Cause, cause he's trying to tell. Cause you know, might be Israelites up in there that we gotta go teach. You know what I'm saying? You never know. The Lord ain't just. We, that's why we ain't out here teaching. We gonna go kill people. We out here to wake people up, man. That's the whole point of teaching and doing this work is to wake up Israel. That's it. With that, I'm gonna bid y'all peace, shalom, <laughs> farewell. And that's it. Uh, we gonna give. Uh, 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 all praises to Yahweh, uh, while Yahweh shine. You know what I'm saying? Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And that's a wrap. Woo!